Well, there's not many games bigger in Class B than a top 10 matchup. Shiloh and Rugby, two storied programs in North Dakota, and they face off on the hardwood today. On the girls' side, it's the top-ranked Panthers hosting 8th-ranked Shiloh. Rugby playing without 1,000-point scorer Mikkel Heideball tonight, but Jordan Junt makes it a two-point Panthers lead after one quarter. Shiloh finds plenty of chances in transition though. Skyhawks force the steal and Hannah Weston converts on the other end as Shiloh later pushes the lead to five. The Panthers won't go away all game. Skyhawks heading the other way off a of steal, but great hustle by Peyton Hawk to come off with the block on the other end. Skyhawks leading by four with less than a minute to go, looking to put the upset win on ice and Paige Shook delivers the dagger with the corner three. Shiloh Christian takes down rugby 61 to 54. We, we talked a lot about opportunity. Today we had an opportunity um, and we didn't squander opportunity. We came out, we played hard, great effort, great defense. Um, just a great opportunity for us to come up here and play good basketball. Yeah, they're an amazing team and it was just, it was definitely a really good win for us. We just went out there and we gave it our all and we, we worked as hard as we could and we got the job done. Same matchup for the boys. Shiloh sitting on the outside of the top 10, but receiving votes in this week's polls. Rugby starts building an early lead in this one. Brody Schneibel play a bully ball inside, count the bucket, giving the foul to go along with it. Shooting struggles really hampered the Skyhawks early in the contest, but Jay Wanzik coming up with the offensive board, dished to Isaac Kimmel for three on the fourth shot of the possession. Panthers later going up by double digits. Beautiful save by Jacob Ripplinger ahead to Eric Foster running the floor. Finishes at the rim. Count it and one. That gets the crowd going. But right before half, Wanzik cuts and finishes the layup inside to build some momentum. The Skyhawks come from behind to win it 71 to 67. Well, the top team in the state on the Class A boys side, Century, hoping to make it 13 straight wins. Williston coming off a buzzer beater win last night. William Ware going to work for the Patriots, feeling the pressure, goes opposite side. That gives his team a 22-point lead. Check out that block, though. Williston's Malachi Sick off the backboard, ensuing possession, burying the corner three. Century running in transition all day, though. Isaiah Schaefer doing what he does best, knocks that one down with ease. As the Patriots roll to remain undefeated 94-49. On the girls' side, it's Bismarck hoping to bounce back after dropping two games in a row with Watford City in town. First quarter, just a three-point game. Peyton Newmiller in transition. The fadeaway floater good to extend the Demons' lead. Wolves fighting from behind. Jessica Mogan with the move inside. Gets fouled on the way up, and that'll go for the three-point play. But Bismarck starts pulling away, going on a 7-0 run in the middle of the first. It's Addie Massey here with a feed to Allie Gullison for the bucket and the paint. The Demons hang on to win 77-39. The Bismarck boys win 103-65. Up north, it's Minot with a big win over St. Mary's 85-49.